What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and lately I've been into D&D, like, like, it's just all I could think about half the time, most of the time, nine, eight, like 90% of the time. I go to work, and then I, I'm, and when I'm at work, I'm thinking about D&D. Um, it's like the best game out there, and I feel like more people need to get into it, and I will be doing a video about like, why you should play D&D, but that's not today. Today, today, we're gonna be making potions. My thought process for this was um, I started a game. I started DMing for uh, Mikachi and a friend of mine. And um, I love props. I love being able to like hand the characters something. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. So if, you, if you're watching this and you know d and I'm sorry, skip to this timestamp and uh, you'll, that's when I'm gonna start building the thing. But give me a second, I'm gonna explain a couple things. It's the most fun I've ever had. It's better than video games, in my opinion. It's it's like being a part of a, an awesome book story. Like, you ever read a really good book or watch a really good movie? If you have a good enough imagination, which I feel like nowadays everyone does because media is so rich in just fantasy and, and sci-fi. There's so many different types of just tabletop games as well. But today, we're gonna be talking about D&D. Today, we're gonna be making healing potions that you can dump out and um, use them on the table while you're playing with your friends. And uh, and it's just a nice little prop that I feel like will add more to the fun. The plan for these is um, for the players to meet a, like an old, like a sage, like a like an old wizard that's that's riding, riding around with his wagon, and um, he's gonna be you know selling them. And he's, I want him to be kind of like a, a recurring uh, character that will come back in the future and be like, oh, I got some new wares, and I got some. It'll just be like a kind of a cli that cliche, old man wizard guy, whatever. Um, that's the plan. So what I want him to be able to do is present them with some the best healing potions around, the most amazing, um, guaranteed to heal at least four HP. These are the regular healing potions. So the way D&D works is um, a, a potion of healing heals um, two D4s plus two. So you roll a D4, they look like this, and um, you roll it and then whatever you get, that's what you heal. That's, that's the amount of health that you're gonna heal back. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a gamble, right? You you don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna do the job, but you know that you can dump these out and have some fun. So as the potions get stronger and more expensive, um, so a greater potion of healing would um, would heal four D fours plus four, so four four four, um, and you heal more. Obviously, you you are guaranteed at least what eight. Um, if you roll all ones, so it's automatically more than the, no, it's not more than the max because this you could still heal, what, 10 max? So in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the two. Uh, what is really nice about these is that um, you can get slightly taller ones. They make like the same size this way, but slightly higher. So what it'll allow you to do is have um, the next level of potion, which I believe is eight d4s basically twice the height you get twice the amount of dye in there and and that's about it i've seen other people make these and they'll put like a little um a piece of paper a little piece of wood in there that says plus whatever the two is i don't know i, I feel like that's okay but unless you were to able to find um d4s that had just the number on it which would be really cool if you could like if if it was a plus two they would have four sides of of two that would be nice that would be really cool. If like all of the numbers were replaced with two, 
Uh, that would be ideal because then every time you roll that that d4, it'll always be a two or always an eight or always a, a four, depending on what type of potion you have. Um, but I wasn't able to find that. And um, I want to keep this as simple and as cheap as possible. I think total cost, if you want to make 12 of them um, with a bunch of extra materials left over, it would cost about $30. And then um, if you want to just make one, and you don't include the paper and the printer and um, and like scissors to, to do all, all basically the miscellaneous stuff. If you don't include that, uh, you'd be looking at about a dollar forty, I believe, a dollar a dollar forty to a dollar fifty per little little potion, which I think is pretty good. If the the merchant pulled out like a little box and you you know you're playing the merchant and um, and he pulls it out and he's like, oh, I have four healing potions and I have this extra special other one because you can make whatever you want with these. I love this idea. I saw it online. Um, I felt like a lot of the ones that I saw online, the couple of tutorials that I watched weren't very, um, weren't that the, they weren't up to the look that I wanted. I wanted it to be like kind of a realistic look like you don't want these giant bottles like this, which I bought this to see because I was like, oh, this is it's kind of what I would want. This is holding like 40 D4s, which it's way too much. Um, I've seen a couple where they fill it up with red acrylic and it's halfway full and then you just have like two dye sitting on top. It's just, it doesn't look as good in my opinion. It just, it, it just looks weird because it's like the liquid and then the dye and then you dump it out and the liquid stays in there. I want to keep it as simple as possible. So I went for the very small bottles because then they fill up as much as as you can as you can with it. Really for this, the only thing that you're gonna be making is gonna be the label. And really depending on what you want um, and how you want it to look, it could look like it could look like anything. All right, so let's start off with uh, the thought process, right? So the idea is we have the potion here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna uncork it, drop it out and it works. Um, but now the main thing you need to worry about when you buy your vial is it's going to be that um, the size of the, the dice that you're going to get. These guys are actually about three quarters of an inch from one corner to the other corner. So therefore, um, the opening here is the most important part because when you're looking at vials, um, they're going to all have different size openings. Some of them look more like little potion bottles. Some of them look like this. But the problem with this one is that one, it's going to hold too many and it's gonna look silly with, let's say, a potion of healing where it literally, that's all that's in there. It just, it just looks dumb in my opinion. What some people have done is they've put uh, a bit of acrylic in there, let it harden. It's like a red acrylic, right? Like a clear translucent acrylic. Um, and then just put the two dye on top. I thought about doing that with, with those, but it just, in my opinion, it just, it wasn't gonna work. It wasn't gonna look good and it, I just didn't wanna do it that way. So realistically, all you need is the bottle, the dye, and the label. Three main items that you're gonna need. And two of them you could just buy. This one you have to make. I'll make sure to put a link to um, the two styles that I have made so far in the description so you guys could download it if you just want to print out your own and make it and uh, and have some fun playing D&D. Did I mention that everybody should play D&D? Please. The way we're gonna do it is um, if, uh, if a player uses their potion, I'm gonna be taking it back from them um, once they're done with it so that they don't have, physically don't have the potion anymore. Also, I wanted to make them super small because um, one, when you're at a table, you're, you're kind of limited on your space, how much space you're, you actually have. Um, everybody has their books, their paperwork, their dye. So everything, everything is all over the place. So. With it being small, you could just put it right in front of your character sheet. If you have multiple, you could just put all of them right there and they're nice and little. I mean, realistically, if you have four potions of healing, you really only need one and just keep it until you you change it, right? And then you have the greater healing potion, which heals more, has more dye in it, and I think looks really cool. So you guys are gonna go and download your, uh, your stickers. I'll put a link to the sticker paper that I use for this. It's, it's I, I believe it's just label paper. Um, I'll put a link to that. I'll put a link to these little bottles. And if you guys want to scale them up and go to the next level of, of potion, um, I'll probably be making another video for that once I get them. I'm gonna get slightly different bottles so that they look more 
fancy. I may also engrave some stuff on the top here, which you can go and do. I try to keep these as simple because if, so, if you wanna make this, if you wanna start playing D&D, you don't need this. But if you wanna like have that extra little touch of flair, um, it would be really cool. But you also, not everybody has the means of doing the laser stuff on the top. And, and I thought that this would just be like a simple, cheap potion, even though potions are like 50, 50 gold. In D&D, let's cut this guy. Everybody knows how to cut stuff, so I'm not gonna be um, teaching y'all how to cut. Um, you can do this with scissors, not a big deal. I just don't actually have any scissors up here for some reason, I could not find them. You actually don't have to be super accurate with this. You can um, just kinda follow the line. Just don't go out of the black line or into the design itself. Uh, cause then you'll just have to cut out a new one cause it'll look weird. I mean, you could always, uh, wear it. Like, you know, put a little bit of wear and tear in it. Um, I've seen people take some sandpaper and scratch up the potions a little bit, but I, I feel like that's not a necessity. This is just supposed to be a simple prop, you know, so that you guys can use it. Hopefully your players appre appreciate it. Cause that's always a bummer when a DM works on something super hard and then the player, um, the players don't really care about it it always uh kind of makes it you know a little sad since we have all these like little you know crazy edges and stuff like that it's uh, i'm just going to take a sharpie and just run it across the edge um this is not a necessity if you take a little bit more time and cut it a little bit slower uh it'll be better and you won't have as much of that but you'll still have the white edge and all we're really trying to get rid of is that white edge and trying to make it look more like the color of the front. Um, I know that this Sharpie is not perfect. I am making these super simple. So <laughs> I, I really don't care as much about them being perfect. If I was making these, let's say professionally, um, I would make the design and then have the labels printed as opposed to doing it this way. That already looks a little bit better just because it doesn't have the white border anymore. And then guys, <laughs> this is like the simplest DIY ever. If you guys just print out these labels and uh, I feel like the, the labels, the, the hardest part about it, that's the, the thing that took the longest was to make the labels. And then you're just gonna line it up and then just um, whack it on there. That's it, that's a, it's as simple as that. And then you're just gonna pop some, some potion in there and and call it a day there are a few things about this um so a a potion of healing heals uh two d4 plus two that's what it says there um and then the plus two the plus two you have an option you can do a you can do a plus two and just write like a thing on the little piece of wood or something a little disc or you know put like two little red beads in there or something like that but the beads would fall so it, it's kind of tough there's no Unless you're gonna make something custom, I couldn't think of a good solution for putting in there. The only thing I could think of is if they made um, like four-sided die that all said a specific number on them, but then that would be investing in some crazy amounts of extra things that you don't really need. I'm pretty sure that your players can figure it out based on the fact that the label says it right there, two D4s plus two. I'm sure that they could just add the two and so let's take a look at the the greater healing potion, um, which I changed it up. Uh, I know some people call them um, potion of greater healing. I just I just wanted to kind of change the wording around. I made it, I made the the label a little bit fancier. Um, I put a red uh, little frog. If you look closely, there is a little uh, a little frog inside that little potion label, um, and then this one is. Uh, is a little red red label, and I figure if I uh, if it's the same brand, which you know different potion makers are gonna have different brands. This is only one brand. This was the this was gonna be the original Toad Sage thing here, but then I I changed it because I didn't like these giant bottles. Um, but I do plan on getting some bigger bottles and making the labels a little fancier because you know if you're gonna only pay. If you're gonna pay minimum price for this, and these are like kind of the disposable ones, the ones that you're gonna use more often because they're, you know, they're still magical items, but they're 
not as expensive. They're a little, I, so I wanted to make this one a little bit fancier. And um, I do wanna make the next ones, like, you know, maybe put a, an emblem or like some sort of rune on the top. Um, I may still do that with these, but for this video, that's it. We have two different types of labels. Um, and you can see that I do feel like this one here does look a little fancier than than this guy, and that was the that was the point. I wanted I wanted as a little bit of a difference, but still the same. Um, I did keep them in the same bottle. I was gonna buy a, a bigger bottle for it, but this fits perfectly. There really aren't any bottles that are smaller than this, but this is like you, you got to think of these as solid liquids, if that makes sense. Um, kind of like the Philosopher's Stone from. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, which doesn't really make any sense because it's literally impossible, but that's the whole point of it. Um, and that's how I think of it. And I think it came out, they came out pretty cool. I think that these are the best and simplest solution if you're trying to do this for yourself. I'll put all the Amazon links down below. They are affiliate links, so if you guys do pick up any items, it does help the channel and gr is greatly appreciated. You're gonna wanna pick up uh, possibly an Exacto cutting board and um, maybe some of the, that paper, but you can get the paper pretty much anywhere, so it doesn't really matter uh, what, what you end up picking up, but... Uh, I think these are great. I would love to hear what you guys uh, think about this project and if you have any ideas for future D&D related stuff or uh, other sort of tabletop gaming or uh, as you can tell Harry Potter related things, uh, leave a comment down below. I do like to make stuff and I'm trying to get into crafting more because I've been kind of slacking lately on how much I've been making. Um, I've been making a lot of wands lately, but I haven't been doing as much of other things, which I love trying new things. And when I see a good idea, I, I have to I have to try to make it. It's just like super fun. And it's one of my favorite things to do, trying to figure it out. And like this thing, I, I think it took me a month. I had to order these and these were like 30 days to come in or something like that. It gave me plenty of time to figure out everything else. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys come up with some cool ideas for me to make some stuff. I do have another D&D uh, related video. I actually have a, um, oh, I can't tell you just in case uh, the secret gets out, but I do have something fun that I'm making for somebody and I hope they like it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in a future one. Go check out some of our previous content. If you like book related stuff, we, those are books, right? The, those are books. The, those are books. If you do like books and uh, fantasy stuff, we do read a lot of books on this channel and uh, do book reviews and um, other book stuff like a book club. Uh, I forgot what we're reading right now. I'm, I, I don't remember. Um, that's more of Mikachi's side of stuff, but uh, I read a bunch of books too. I also wanna send out a huge thank you to all of our patrons and um, and an extra special thank you to three of you that have been around with us for two years now, I believe. Um, if it's not exactly two years, we're coming up on the two year mark and um, you guys are what you know helps us continue to, to do this. We do have our regular jobs that we still work, but you guys, um, you guys, you know, you guys are always there, part of the community, a part of our, our Discord and everything. And um, sorry, cat was bothering me. Um, and uh, I just want to thank you guys. So I want to thank uh, Kristen, um, uh, Jiraiya, and and Leonard. You guys have been with. You guys were three of the originals. Um, you guys are like uh, like the the founding fathers of uh, of our Patreon page, I guess. There are a few more of you that have been around with us for a while, um, but those are the the three the three longest. Um, and I wanna I wanna thank you guys so much, and I wanna thank all of our um, our new our new patrons as well. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing these little shout outs every once in a while uh, when some you know something cool happens or something like that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys. And the other one, not another video. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs>